All right, it's a new year full of new possibilities and I genuinely think that for Tesla, 2022 is going to be a significant landmark year that really sets the stage for the future of the company. We know that 2021 was incredibly successful from a financial and production point of view. They delivered a staggering number of cars and made a ton of money in the process. But overall, the previous year had a feeling of being a work in progress, with factories under construction and FSD beta under development and new products being teased but not released. So 2022 is going to be a year where the rubber meets the road, so to speak, and we see what happens when dreams and ideas become realities. So let's talk about all of the cool things that Tesla is going to do in 2022. Okay, so one very big thing that we expect is going to reach the next level this year is Tesla's full self-driving feature or autonomous vehicle technology. This is, of course, the paid upgrade on top of Tesla's autopilot feature that comes standard with every car. The idea with full self-driving has always been that you are paying now for a feature that won't actually reach maturity until sometime in the future. Many call it a scam, others call it an investment. I don't know, it is what it is. Anyways, the first and most obvious reason that FSD is top of mind would be an Elon Musk tweet on January 7th when he said the price for Tesla full self-driving would rise to $12,000 in the United States beginning on January 17th and then followed that up by writing FSD price will rise as we get closer to FSD production code release. So raising the price of an already very expensive and controversial option package by 20% is a bold move to say the least. And we are definitely expecting that Elon and Tesla will follow that up with some kind of bold action that would justify the price increase. Obviously we could be wrong, but if we look back at the last price increase from eight to 10,000 US, that lined up with the first release of the FSD beta software that allowed autopilot to steer the car on city streets, navigate intersections, and make left turns. That was a pretty big deal. Of course, the beta software at the time was only available to a small number of hand-picked testers, but it still gave everyone else the opportunity to see a real-world demonstration of what the software was really capable of on the bleeding edge. We get to watch the whole evolution play out in user-generated YouTube videos. No company marketing gimmicks here. Fast forward to January 2022, and that beta software has gone through 10 major upgrade cycles and is now available to pretty much anyone in the US who has paid for FSD and can manage a reasonable safety score through the Tesla insurance calculator. According to Elon's Twitter posting, version 11 of the beta software is coming in February and will mark another significant feature upgrade. At some point this year, we assume FSD beta will just become regular full self-driving and will be immediately available to anyone who pays for it. But what level autonomy is that software going to be offering when it reaches the public release? During a recent podcast interview with Lex Friedman, Elon said that he expected Tesla's software to reach level four autonomy by the end of the year. As of right now, even the beta version is at level two, which means the car will control steering, acceleration, and braking, but the human must remain engaged with the driving task and be ready to take over at all times. Moving up to level four would mean that the vehicle would be capable of performing all driving functions in certain circumstances, and the human need not pay attention under those circumstances. So for example, FSD might reach a level where it can perform highway driving with full vehicle control and no need for the driver to intervene or even pay attention as long as the car is on the highway. That would be a level four autonomy and I think that is totally possible for 2022. Level five would be full autonomy. That's when the vehicle can do all of the driving tasks in all circumstances with zero driver intervention so at that point, the car wouldn't even need a steering wheel or pedals. That's where Elon eventually wants to reach with full self-driving, but that's not coming anytime soon. 
Here's another thing that we are confident is going to pop off in 2022, Tesla Energy. And this is spurred on again from an Elon Musk tweet, this time in response to an article posted by Clean Technica that says solar power will account for nearly half of new US electrical generating capacity in 2022. Elon replied, most people have no idea how fast sustainable energy is growing, but we do have an idea of how fast Tesla is growing their sustainable energy division. Thanks to a report from Drive Tesla Canada, we have some numbers on Tesla's Megapack battery unit. These are grid scale energy storage systems. In 2021, Tesla was able to produce around four gigawatt hours of Megapack storage capacity per year, which is amazing, but that's nothing compared to where we are going. According to inside sources, Tesla is targeting to increase their annual Megapack production capacity to as much as 50 gigawatt hours by the end of 2023. That's thanks to a brand new factory under construction in California that will focus exclusively on building the Megapack. According to the source, a full 20 gigawatt hours of capacity will be available by the end of this year, and much of that growth is going to be thanks to a version 2 of the Megapack unit that will be available in an XL size up to 11 meters long. Even though the Megapack 2 XL will have a much larger footprint and offer more storage capacity, it will actually be cheaper for Tesla to produce than the existing Megapack thanks to new LFP battery chemistry. According to Clean Technica, utility scale solar generating capacity in the US will grow by 121.5 gigawatts in 2022. This planned new capacity would surpass last year's 15.5 gigawatts of solar additions. This planned new capacity would surpass last year's 15.5 gigawatts of solar additions, and the more growth we see in solar energy generation, the higher the demand will be for large-scale battery storage capacity. 2022 is going to be the year of the Gigafactory, with two of these monsters coming online at more or less the same time. We've got Giga Austin, which has come together at a spectacular pace. They pretty much build this factory 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and in a little over a year, the structure is now three quarters of a mile long and eight stories high. And now on January 8th, we saw a report from Dan Ives, a well-known analyst and managing director at Wedbush Securities that claims Gigafactory Austin will be open in the next seven to 10 days. So as early as January 15th, Ives wrote on Twitter, we believe the stamping machines for Model Y and testing is already in place and mostly completed. Green light for Tesla to kick off Austin. Then there is the long suffering Giga Berlin, which continues to experience a baffling stream of setbacks even to this day. Construction in Berlin started long before Austin and Elon had been hopeful that production at the German factory might start up by July, 2021. But final approval from the local government in Brandenburg just keeps getting pushed back by a never ending stream of environmental reviews, public consultations and lawsuits. In December, we heard that Tesla had submitted all of the necessary paperwork to the local authorities for final production approval and everything seems to be on track. It's just a waiting game. In the meantime, we know that the German officials have granted Tesla pre-approval to make as many as 2000 test bodies for the Model Y at Giga Berlin. They can build up to 500 per week. These aren't vehicles that will ever be sold to customers. They're basically just to calibrate the production line. According to Tesla, the parts and bodies that have been manufactured so far at the plant have been considerably far out of spec. So there is still a lot of equipment that needs to be dialed in before final production builds can go forward. Either way, at some point this year, both of these factories will be pumping out the Tesla Model Y SUV, which is a huge deal because the demand for this vehicle has been greatly exceeding the supply everywhere in the world. Elon Musk believes that the Model Y can easily become the number one selling car of any kind worldwide within the next couple of years. So they're going to need to be building a hell of a lot of them to meet that demand. The fourth pillar for Tesla in 2022 is going to be new product releases. 
It's been a long time since we've seen a new car from Tesla, and that's finally going to change this year. In November 2021, Elon wrote on Twitter that he would be on the next Tesla earnings call to provide an updated product roadmap. That's basically a timeline for when new products will be available. We know that there are two new vehicles scheduled to roll out in 2022, the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck. The Semi we know is already in limited production at Giga Nevada. We've seen a few of them on site there. But as for the Cybertruck, we only expect that the production model will be built in Giga Austin at some point before the end of this year. So hopefully Elon can bring a bit more clarity to that situation. Then we've got the Tesla Roadster version 2, which was announced like four or five years ago at this point, and we still don't really know when that's supposed to reach production. I think the last we heard from Elon was a hopeful prediction that it could happen in 2023, but that kind of seems unlikely at this point. And there's still the much anticipated, affordable, compact Tesla hatchback, also known as the 25K Tesla, also known by a bunch of other names made up on the internet. This car has been talked about and speculated on for well over a year now, but has yet to have an official product announcement from Tesla. The most we got was a mention at Battery Day in 2020, when Elon said that Tesla was going to build a car for 25,000 US dollars, and there was an image on the screen of a car with a big white sheet over top of it. According to my math, Tesla is due for a big product unveiling this year, probably this fall if I had to bet on it. The last time it happened was the Cybertruck launch event in November of 2019. Though it might even come as early as the spring, Tesla announced the Model Y in March 2019, and the Y took almost exactly one year from announcement to production, while the Cybertruck is looking like a three-year gap between unveiling and first deliveries. So if we do get a 25K Tesla announcement this year, when does it actually become available? Drop your theories in the comment section below. What is the most anticipated Tesla event in 2022 for you? For more Tesla news delivered straight to your inbox, make sure to subscribe to our Tesla Space newsletter. We keep you up to date on all things Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and Boring Company in one quick and fun to read package. Link in the description to sign up, it's theteslaspace.com. And make sure to drag our emails over into your primary inbox so we don't get lost in the promotions tab. Also, don't forget to check out our new Space Race channel and subscribe over there for even more space exploration content. As always, if you wanna to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.